Hello, 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 and welcome. It has been a while to Bourbon Street um, Themes and Bourbon Monday Night Live. We have some special guests, um, some new faces. Let, let me just start there. We have some new faces <laughs> before we introduce our main guests here. But new faces, Allegra is with us in spirit right now. She may join us a little later. Um, but you all know we had a new addition to Bourbon Street Focus, and she's mostly the expert over audio, and that is Miss Tara. <laughs> Yay! Yay. Yay. <laughs> and then we have everybody knows. She might see in the streets as uh, Carissa. <laughs> you might see her as a Shira. <laughs> but you're going to always know that is Messiah's wife. Uh, mm -hmm. my, hi. Hello, Hello Maisha, and hey. thank you for joining us. We thank appreciate you for having it. me. Um, and of course, we are here in honor tonight to acknowledge our girl, our friend, newest author in these literary streets, AKA in the love. My, I call, I say Joss, but it is <laughs> Jocelyn Mars. The newest author of The Strength of Love, um, man. I'm just going to give you flowers. Bravo, bravo, bravo. Applause. Thank I you. know that has to be so nerve wracking, but, you know, we're proud of you. We are proud of you because it, it takes courage, you know, to get to this point and, and release that. So, mm -hmm. bravo, bravo, bravo. This is totally different for her, y'all. Y'all know she's usually the host <laughs> interviewing mm -hmm. everybody. So. <laughs> Sure what I'm an honor it is to be able to do this tonight, y'all. What an honor. Yeah, I'm not used and to this. And we have so many people in the house tonight. I Listen, they're rolling in. But we, Sheree in the streets. All right, Sheree and Eve is out there. Oh, God. Right, right? <laughs> Day is here. <laughs> it is so good to see everybody. Monique is here. HP is here. One of the newest mm -hmm. authors, Sean Ruffins, is here. Oh, it's so good to see everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. But let's get down to some business. <laughs> Y'all know how we do it in the Bourbon Streets. Um, so, Josh, tell us what actually inspired this story. Um. <laughs> First of all, thank you. Thank you for having me. Thank you for letting me be. You guys are the first to interview me for um, The Strength of Love. So I have been wanting to write um, a book for a long time, a long, long time. And I'm talking about way before Amazon. I used to write when I was little, when I was younger. And I wrote a story and I let somebody read it. And they just killed my whole little dream. Like, you know, so we talking over 25 years ago. And I was like, okay, I ain't never gonna, I just put it down. I ain't never picked it, you know, did it again. But being a teacher, I help kids write stories and fix their stories and stuff all the time. So I have been, I was working on a different, a whole totally different story. I still have it. I don't know when, if I ever go back to it. But I started struggling with this. So I asked Bailey West, I was like, um, Give me a prompt. Let me just play with something. Just give me a prompt that ain't going, you know. And so she's the one who gave me the prompt of a girl gets hit in the head with a ball. And so I jotted ah. it down <laughs> and I just started playing with it. And then all of a sudden, Jamal's character just started talking. He just started talking, talking, talking. And I'm talking to like at weird times a day. I could be laying in the bed and these scenes would just start coming and he would just start talking. And so I started just Dropping it down in my notes. And then the pandemic hit and all inspiration just went out the window. Out the window. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we had talked about it. Bailey and I had talked about it. And the struggle of your creative space. And then it's now your workspace. Because I'm teaching virtually from home and I'm in this space all day. And so it just made it difficult 
But then when scenes were still coming to me, I would still jot them down in my notes. And then um, Chantress was harassing me. When you gonna finish? When you gonna finish? And so I just, this year, starting probably about the end of last year, I started really like really, really focusing on it and writing it and playing with the scenes more. And I just, you know, finished, I went ahead and finished and knocked it out of the park. I actually had the um, book cover, the pictures, because that is a family friend that everybody is lusting mm, for. Baby, yes, <laughs> wait I a say minute. This. Is he oh, on Amazon? Is, listen, where do we exactly. click? <laughs> do the one click for him. That oh, is a family Ooh. friend. That is actually my sister cousin's best friend. He has been mm-hmm. around forever and a day. And he'll that, probably that's all me. him. Ain't nothing edited. That's that's all. All He's a gym rat. He a gym Damn. rat. And he likes to post thirst traps, is what we tell him. <laughs> <Damn. post> <laughs> we'll go, we'll I'll I'll say something. I'll comment on his Instagram and then I'll tag my sister cousin and she she be like, Lord have mercy, let me go, let me let me get on, you know, and he'll start, don't y'all start, y'all leave me alone. But he always posting thirst traps. So he posted wow. a couple of pictures and I said, Yo, I need them. And he sent them to me a long time ago. And um <laughs> kill that said, Hey family friend. <laughs> um, I know that's I right. Know that's right. Listen, He's that's what I said. Is that a one-click purchase on Amazon? Let me get Manny started. Like, I got yeah. him working on Sheree's book. I can wrap him up and... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> he started harassing me like, what's up? What you doing? What's taking so long? You know? And so, like I said, I just went on ahead and um, finished and knocked it out. Especially when we got out of school. And I had a lot of time to really just dedicate um to it amongst getting ready for indie love i was doing a whole lot listen chanel just threw that out there chanel said she got one question for you boo she pulled a beyonce all day on us <laughs> that is a good question chanel because look this how she did me chanel i showed up and i'm ready to chill y'all see i'm got my my indie love shirt on right so i'm, I'm ready to chill got my weekend ready to roll here she go here this is how she did it right here <laughs> So I'm, I'm looking at it. I'm ready to fan with it, right? <laughs> and and it, she just showed it where the barcode was on the back. She didn't even show you the front. And then I turned it off. Now, keep in mind, I know her last name, but her first name, I don't call her new Jocelyn. So I had to read that a couple of times. <laughs> had to read that a couple of times. <gasps> like how she pulled that one over on us, y'all. I'm a and then when I. I saw some of them betas. I was like, they, they, they ain't say nothing. They just, they look like, you know, they were so cool and calm. Baby. I'm going to give Sheree Lewis the credit for that. Um, oh. My family wanted me, my son, and um, who was it? Oh, my good friend Connie, who was at Indie Love, working the table. They wanted me to do it the day of and, you know, make it a whole big grand gesture. And I said, but that wasn't indie love is not about me it's about my Arthur so I really don't want to do that and they just kept on kept on and so I talked with I was talking to Sheree about it I told her I was finished because she's one that would um <laughs> I, uh, oh <laughs> that must be Mimi <laughs> that is me Mimi me, me, me um, saying she asked Devin is this real <laughs> yeah because I did her the same way I did Juliana actually I was walking by and I took it and I just slid it in front of Mimi because she was talking and I kept on going. And so I don't know what her reaction was to it. But um, I was talking to Sheree and she was like, oh, Joss, you don't want to do that on the same day as Indie Love. You don't want to release it. And I said, I really don't want to release it then. But then it came back and everything was good. And so I said, um, I'll do it the day after. And so I had the cards and I was just giving them to, I was really only giving them to people I really knew. I didn't want the other participants to feel like, oh, she's showboating her stuff too. I was only giving it to everybody that I knew because it was some nice, it was some nice because I think it was, um, God, I can't think of her name right now and I feel so bad. They were behind my Isha and them. And so when I handed it I to I was my, screaming. <laughs> when I handed the card to my 
Then they was like, I want one. And I was like, mm, no, you know. <laughs> so I wasn't I'm trying to say, like, say look, I just was, you know. Me, me, me I'm going to say in the words of Maisha, we not peasants. Why we ain't no. <laughs> we, look, we were surprised so, with everybody else, baby. Because yeah. when I, I was the first, eight. yeah, she had just kicked me out and told me to walk around. So I was literally the first person at a door. So I, I opened the door. She I got kicked out too. Closed the door. So I'm like, okay. So she comes around and she hands it to me. And I look. And I'm like, you wrote a book? Like, I'm like, oh my God. I was so happy. I don't even know why I was so happy. And I, Listen. I, I thought she was going to be selling it there. So I'm like, okay, I'll buy your book. But it, you nah. know, it's the letting us know it was going to come out. But that was a that boss was move it. right there. That that, that was, was a boss, boss move. move. That I was a, a boss I, move. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so I, I know, like, it. um, yeah, like this. I had people downstairs say, so "Credit already." The girls from the Black Girl Podcast. They was like, "That's our next read." You started already. I was like, "Don't, don't, don't give me the spoilers. I'm, I'm, I'm getting it. I'm gonna get it." <laughs> Baby. And as a matter of fact, I, I needed to, to be fresh in my head, so I just read it last week, y'all. So, <laughs> well, I hear that we have um, Bailey to thank for our girl getting hit in the head <laughs> <laughs> and for this love story to actually begin. Mm -hmm. So, I have a question for Joss. Actually, okay, I, have go um, I know you did All a right. lot. You had you did a lot this year. I know you pledged. Um, that was a big thing for you. You said you it took a lot. What was your motivation to release it this year? Because I know you said you started up again, like the end of last year. What what was your motivation to release it this year? You know you had so much under your belt. How did you you know make time for that? Um, without getting in trouble, I have an awesome teammate. Because I don't know who I was listening. <laughs> mm. I was awesome. I well had we are separated this school year. Um, I have a, she's awesome, she's my friend. And so um we would make time. I was able to do some stuff um <clears throat> uh you know at work. <laughs> <laughs> cough, cough. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> um so what I stopped letting fear get in the way. Like come on. I, I, and I honestly took a page out of LB's book. I didn't write it for you. I wrote it for me. That's if I, what I'm talking. If I liked it, you know. Um, and I know trust me, there's no delusions of grandeur. I know that certain things could have been developed more. So on the next project, I'm working harder on that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm working hard That's on Sean. that. <laughs> I'm working diligently on that, that the character is a little bit more um, developed on the next one that's coming out. Um, so I just stopped letting fear. That's, that's the best way I can tell you. I stopped letting fear um, get in the way and just did it. And I was like, if they like it, they like it. If they don't, they don't. At least I try. It doesn't hurt anybody. It doesn't, I always tell my students it doesn't hurt anything to try. So all I can say is I tried. And Thank my you. second one um, was okay. You know, you you know when you have the book clubs and you you read so much, is that added pressure? Because you know people be like, how she read all these books and her story not? She know better. Like, was that added pressure because you are you know such a big deal in the, the book um, industry? Was that, do you think that was added pressure or was that like, this is the boost I need? Um, okay. First of all, thank you. Cause I don't think I'm a big deal in this industry. I really, girl, girl I honestly, <laughs> I honestly, sold out. I'm going to just say this sold out. That's it. Sold out. That sold, sold out. out. Next, you hear me? Next sold comment. out. Go ahead. It said it's the biggest event. Sold out. All right. Come on. <laughs> Um, I don't want to say it was added pressure. I think that's where it comes in where I said that I know that there was stuff that could have been a little bit more. Um, characters could have been, I could have dug deeper in 
could say Deja's background and some other things. Um, I think that's where the pressure comes in. But then you also don't want to seem like you're copying off of somebody else. And um, as I've been encouraged, the more I write, my voice will be her, you know, it, it'll develop more. It'll it'll just it'll just automatically grow. The more you do it, the more it'll grow. So I don't want to say that was an added pressure. That was just like motivation, maybe. It's hard though. It's hard. It's I mean, and the fear is not a joke. When you let fear come in and you scared to do something, y'all know how that is the scariest thing to put out your first book and not know if somebody is gonna like it, if they're not gonna like it. And then you stalk in the reviews, and y'all know how I feel about reviews. So it's like I can't be nasty because <laughs> it's my stuff. But that first mm. one star review, I was like, oh, like my heart literally did this jump. <laughs> and then I read it, read it, and then I started busting out laughing. Like, okay. So, <laughs> Sarah, you have any questions? Okay. My questions are about the content in the book. My first well, one. Before, before we get to that, then let me ask this question. Before okay. we get into the book, did you feel that now as an author, now that you've released, is there any different perspective you have now as an author versus just being a reader? Like, you know how we do charade. You know how we like in her inbox. <laughs> and I use charade because we harass her. We do. I, I um, know I was in her inbox. But see, in this is the inbox. difference between me and I just be harassing Shrey just because it's fun to harass her. But I really don't it's get in Archie's inbox and, and ask them. Um, I really don't get in their inbox asking them when is the next novel because I know it takes time. And some people work. They have full-time jobs. They have children. And I'm at a point, <clears throat> I'm not quite an empty nester. But I am. This is a grown man. He's got he got his first full time. Graduated. Y'all know I'm gonna plug my baby. Graduated from the masters. Summa cum laude. Got his first job. Oh, congratulations. In Started today. So, you know, I mean, he's at a point where I don't. I'm not. I have a little more free time than some others. So I get it. And if the characters are not talking, and you don't want to force something, you know, you don't want anything to ever feel like you're forcing it. So, um. That's, that's, it's, it's a lot. Deja and Jamal did have a very natural um, relationship. I, I truly enjoyed the relationship, but I'm going to let, um, and, and, and for me, for me, the story flowed with them. Oh, one, one question, one question. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Did y'all see that? I said, this sounds, this is Josh. Y'all ever what heard Josh? What? what I do? Damn. 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 I y'all know I pronounce things funny, right? Y'all know I You know, Terry, I saw that said, Terry was telling me, she said, there's certain things that I'm reading and I hear, I hear you. I hear Josh <laughs> in it. So yeah, that's my thing. Damn. But I say it like that. Damn. Damn. <laughs> Damn. Damn. She be funny. Damn. 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 <laughs> All right, Sarah. Okay, this one isn't about the content. So I'll ask. Without being specific, which you already were, but are there any real life inspirations for any of the characters besides the cover model? Yeah, besides besides sexy. What's his name? Sexy. <laughs> you mean to I, I, he don't care. His name is Jamal. Jamal. <laughs> Jamal. But his name is that Kelly. Jamal. Kelly oh, Cooper. Shit. You ain't gonna find him though. Kelly. I mean, he don't care if you tag him and like him. He been tagging it. I don't know if anybody paid attention on my Instagram. On my Instagram, he be sharing it himself. He shared it too. Don't have me go search. <laughs> black. <laughs> I think it's black NBA. That's him. He don't. Trust me, he don't care. Um, mm -mm. Everything is fiction. What? What you mean, Tara? What? what? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> no, there are some. Um, there are some um, 
life experiences in there. Um, there are some in the story. Yeah. That's all I like to say. <laughs> I mean, I can tell you which ones it is, but. Okay, the disagreement about the, the way cum tastes. Is that what you saw? <laughs> oh. You had a cum taste. Oh, no. Okay, Tara. Okay. <laughs> oh, that one. <laughs> Um, How did that come about? <laughs> I know some women who don't, they, they, they do for their mates, but they don't necessarily like it. Um, <laughs> no, he's <laughs> not. <laughs> um, oh, God. Okay. So there's a part where, um, Camille says, you was messing with that nasty so-and-so guy, right? Um, and she said, I know, no, it was, Deja says, I know exactly where the phobia has come from. When I used to mess with so-and-so and so-and-so, and it tastes like weed or whatever, because all he did was smoke weed or whatever, mm -hmm. whatever. Mm -hmm. I ain't gonna lie, that was facts. That what was you put true. in that is what you juggy. get out. That must be asparagus. No, it's not juggy. <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> first of all, first of all, <laughs> don't start mine. Don't start. Don't start. Do not start. <laughs> no, that is um. I won't lie. That was that was a true. So, and that happened years. Ago, yeah, but I, I heard women like, say that if your first that encounter that was, is yeah. horrible, yeah, yeah, they don't like it and all of that. And I'm not gonna lie, I was scared to do that. I was scared to put that scene in there. I was like, Did it, is this gonna sound crazy? Is this gonna? Ooh, I, so I, I think we, we like the real life because it's a lot of us can relate, even though we don't tell the story. We like, mm, girl, I know. Right. What she's talking about. So, yeah. Right. So okay. we we understood. If you're gonna keep it real, right? Right. I let um Chantress yeah, read that part. Some greens before. <laughs> right. <laughs> greens I, let, before. <laughs> I let Chantress read it one day. The kids were gone to specials, and I said, "Read this and tell me what you think." And she read it and was like, mm, "Okay." Oh, <laughs> and then, um. I did a road trip to uh, Birmingham to to um, behind the ink their book thing, and um, I went to see Monica Monica Fortin. I went to see specific specific uh, specifically to see Monica, <clears throat> and she asked me where was I in the book because she knew I had been working on it. And Connie got in her feelings. I could say this because Connie ain't here. She Connie got in her feelings. And was, <laughs> Why everybody done read something and I haven't hmm. read anything? Hmm. All right, so Connie. In the on the way back in the car, I pulled up my iPad and I said, "Here, read this scene and tell me what you think." And as she was reading, she was like, "Oh, oh, that New Orleans, because Connie is from New Orleans, and it was, oh my, oh, okay, all right, okay. <laughs> and it was all of that." And so I said, wow. I said, "So I should leave that in?" And she said, "Yep." And I said, "Then it stays." <laughs> Then it stays. Then it and you stays. know, for, I didn't even give the sexual content as much attention as I did the overall story for me. The, the sex was good, but the story had a lot of weight because, first of all, this, this Jamal is a man of man, man. You know what I'm saying? Yes, like, he was. He showed up as what everybody needed, although that's not always realistic and healthy. But that's the kind of man that you can definitely feel secure in. You want to care sure. about your family. You basically, you know, you met this woman, you loving her. You kept it 100. Even when your friend called himself, your boy, who's been your boy way longer than you knew this, this woman. And he read it a check and put everything. Everything about him says say he had a little street in him. He was like a... a recovery Coming. street man but he, he's <laughs> like again he had it it's like it came naturally i mean from mm -hmm. pretty much having a hand and and you know molding him and developing him he still had that that sexy curve and then mm -hmm. deja man 
listen, all I gotta say is, I hope I meet me one of them ninjas that don't mind putting a house in my name. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Who right. is. <laughs> Can Desmond buy me a house? That's all mm -hmm. I got. To do. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then um, what I did like about Jamal is that he took on characteristics that you see mainly from the female leads, the um, stars of the book, where yes. he just was there for everyone except himself. So it's like that part. I'm there that for part. everybody. You know, uh, I, I joke with Josh because the when you know when his sister just up and decided to leave girl and, and gave him a, and i'm girl. like I, you know usually the the uncles have a relationship with their nephews and nieces but not yes. like that it's usually girl. the aunties so i think Listen. that right there I, that was so refreshing just to read now we're reading about a guy instead of a girl and i, I that storyline was really what i liked about it because we got to follow him and we got to see it from a man's point of view because yes. believe it or not, it does happen. You have men who are yes. as strong minded, <laughs> as God fearing, as relationship driven as Jamal was, but we yes. rarely get to see it in the literary world. So Come to on, see her touch on that, that was that was a good one. Like I really enjoyed that. Thank you. Listen, I really enjoyed that. Nash, I said Nash for president, okay? Nash he was for president. Speaking of Nash, look, speaking of Nash, as a teacher. What you call the mama about? He called the girl a little black beetle. <laughs> Is that something you would call home about? <laughs> no, and that happened in the, that sort of no, in bro. It was, man, I don't know what all I heard was that he I didn't curse her. So I mean that he just basically kind of sucking, you know. But, but they in, now that part okay so they were in the classroom not in the book but in the in my room and all i heard they were supposed to be doing quiet work i don't know what popped off and all i heard was you little black beetle and then i heard your mama and i was like <laughs> wait a minute <laughs> so i just <laughs> took that and and then, you know, you know, kids, especially the kids nowadays, they just go back and forth. That, what? You know, right. that, that was mild compared to what I know they right. were. Right. Yeah, yeah, I heard some. I Everybody heard some can get it. The, the teacher, the principal. <laughs> but I do have some um, clear, clear te teammates um, <laughs> that do call That's some type of petty things. And we just be sitting there like, girl, why are you wasting your voice? Right. <laughs> So she I instigate. They start yeah. laughing at her. <laughs> <laughs> that was supposed to be the adult in the situation. They both yeah, laughing. it's like who's the adult here? And they just egg on like he said, what said again? Said he called Jason there. <laughs> Nash was definitely oh my, my baby. I, yes. I, I I he was just so wise for him, for him to be the smart one to um, to basically say, Hey, you know, won't you tell Shorty to come on, you know, we're we gonna hang together. <laughs> Talk about, I just love, first of all, obviously his parents gave him the example of what a healthy relationship looked like. Mm -hmm. That was evident. That was obvious. Um, and and I, I hated how, see his mom, she, she, everything about her was just foul. Because how dare you? She was one of the mothers that looked like she gave more love and attention to the boys than she did to her daughter. And I I was I was mad with her. I was ready to fight her on many occasions because how dare you? First of all, who are you to tell me how long I should mourn? Right. My husband. My husband. So, this is my it. husband. Yeah. So when you said, Yeah, my life partner. So when that was that was part of Jerrica's um problem. The fact that they loved each other so much. And I think I put it in the beginning. She never thought, yeah, he's a police officer. But so what? He coming home to me every day. Mm, she right, never right. let that fear of him going out to do his job get to her. So when it happened, it broke her. Yeah, that like, reality. That reality really, really um, broke her. And because they were such a bonded it was the three of them and at some point they were talking about having another one and and all of that was taken away from her and i have a, a, we used to be really good friends 
And what prompted that part was um, my child is 25. Her child is older than mine. And this was before she had her child. And this girl, she lost her husband tragically. He wasn't a police officer or anything like that. But she lost him tragically. He was standing up for somebody else. And the person said, um, you just, you, she told, he told the other female, you just cost your friend his life. And went out to his car and came back and just and killed him. And mm -hmm. she has been mourning for almost 30 years. And it was like, I've seen it. I've seen her. Holidays, birthdays, and not at Facebook. And she puts it up posts. And I'm not judging her. She can mourn as long as she. But that, at some point, that becomes unhealthy that you are living in that for over 30 years. That's mm -hmm. unhealthy. You can always say, I'm going to love him forever, but to just mm -hmm. be Lost that, in that morning. 30 years yeah. later, where you put up posts and people act, some people, I mean, it's, and they, they cater to it like, um, oh, I'm so sorry for your loss. Yes, but we are talking 30? And I'm not being... I don't want it to sound like I, I'm not. I'm right. I'm I with you, Mo. What I'm saying. There, there is no expiration on grief, it is but no. what the reality is, in order for for that with for that person, what's healthy, what's considered healthy, is dealing with it, accepting it, and still trying to live through it or live with it. Let's say that because you don't get over it, right? It's just something no. you learn to mm -hmm. adapt with. Right. Because, I mean, the loss, regardless of who it is, if that person has had any impact in your life. And that's that's the thing. <clears throat> For one, what I, the only thing that Jerrica made me mad about was, and if I was, Jamal, don't play me. Keep it 100 with me because I'm your brother. I love you. So if you say it to me, you let me know what's up because I got a life, right? So right. if you let me know up front what's up. Give me, I have a right to say no if I if I want to say no. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking I'm keeping your son for the weekend, your ass and rolled out for three to six months, baby. What and, and I Shit. but I understood I I, I understood both sides. And I mean I, you understand it, but it's still crazy. not right. That ain't nothing right about that. It's 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 sad that she went to her mother and her mother told her no. I you think as a mother as a mother. Know, let me um, let my let me help my daughter heal if this what makes her heal my not just all a mother my a grandmother on top of that on top of that on top of that she took too many liberties that was way out of mm -hmm. life but i love how jamal mm -hmm. checked her i was mm -hmm. proud of of our little brother for getting his stuff together because i mean you know like come on y'all you know everybody got to figure it out for themselves Everybody got to figure it out for themselves. So I was definitely um, one of those people that that felt like, you know what, and that your ass is fine. Right. Yeah, and y'all y'all going off on on my mama in the comments, desolate. Why Wait. back? Wait, what? <laughs> I saw that. I oh, that why mama back, could. mama? Why? I couldn't stand the mama. Why back? <laughs> So let me read the quote, what she told her daughter. Suck it up. Stop all that crime. Pick yourself mm -hmm. up. We got shit to take care of. And then mm -hmm. she she slapped her. And tried, what she slapped her. her. Yeah, and that was right after he died. Yeah. I think that was yeah. two, three days after he two died. That's what said. He, yeah, she made that comment a couple of days because they needed to get, you know, funeral arrangements raised. So it's like, you don't have time for all of that. Boo-hoo, mm -hmm. wah crying and stuff. Mm -hmm. And then uh, I guess I... If I'm remembering correctly, it was a couple of weeks, you know, when our family would step in and try to let her have some time to deal, you know, um, and they found her inebriated and she was, you know, dealing with her grief the best way she, that she can. Them, so. Yep. And sometimes we find out, you know, the way that they choose to deal with it. And, and again, out that concept of fear, let's just drown it out. Let's, I, I don't want to feel it. So right. that's where that, that concept comes from, drinking will make it easy. I ain't got to deal with it. I ain't got to accept it. I don't even have to acknowledge it. You know, if I numb it, I don't remember. If I don't remember it, I'm not feeling it. If I numb, if I numb this pain, I won't feel it. 
Yeah, I, I was gearing up to fight her, Monique. She she was already on my shit list, my hit list, because again, number one, as a woman telling this to your daughter, and I love when they basically put it in in you know terms that she can understand. So what you're saying is, if your husband died and my mom told you, you know, like yeah, you 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 need to wear these shoes. How you going How you gonna wear them? And again. Who knows? Maybe their relationship was to the point where it was easy for her just to say, "And nigga dead, it's time to move on." You know, I did my time. Well, she told her in the beginning, "I told you not to um, marry a police marry marry him, him a police officer in the first place." Ooh. Girl, go on, sit your ass. Imagine me. Imagine me not being happy with life because of the occupation. Right. Okay, imagine that. Right. Right. And you're gonna in, in the in Jerrica's story, you'll get to know um some of the reasons it's not gonna justify it. I guarantee you it's not gonna justify it, but okay. you'll find out why she's so just mm. I understand sometimes when artists have said in the past, this person pissed me off. I think CCJ is one of the ones that always said, oh, they made me so mad. I, I wanted to just, I don't even want to, you know. So when she, when, her, when she comes up in my head, I just be like, oh, whatever, mm, whatever. I'll, you know, let, me, let me hurry up and type what you got to say and get on. Also, I love, um, you know, it, it seems like Jamal was the um, mature uncle, and his brother was the, it's like you put him and ass together. And it's like they they the same age, like like literally, like they they can probably have a food fight at the table if you let them. But yes. when he was describing the college, and he says, he says, and my uncle said the college is not there, but it's there because I saw it. And when I say I fell out, I fell out. <laughs> <laughs> I, say, I say, Lord, he just, just clowned the hell out of Morris Brown. That <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, she that just was, was wise so... beyond his you know, years. My, I can tell you where that came from too. Not, I mean, because in my school, it's a lot of us that are part of the Divine Nine. Mm-hmm. And they take part of the eight being HBCU very seriously. So it's the Spellman, Spellmanites, the Morehouse guys, the ones that went to Clark, the ones that went to <laughs> Morris. Morris Brown, the college that's not there. And they be, they be going at it and they get vicious sometimes. <laughs> when they, Morris Brown ain't even there no more. And I just be like, <laughs> like, oh my God, we are still there. We alumni. Alumni where? I mean, and I just be. So when you that stuff be in your head and it just makes it easy to take pieces from it, you know, you can take life experiences and truly, um, you know, weave them the way you want to. So, yeah, I think that came right after it. Yeah, Jake yes, was a clown. Jake's don't have he no. He was hilarious. It's like him and Nash together, and it's like you, like you say, you would have thought they were the same age, like. The way they rank on each other, the way they argue, the they they inside jokes. It was man, it I, it was so funny. So it was like the you know the the good uncle and the bad the bad uncle, and of course right. nobody wanted. She wouldn't have dared left him with Jace. I think Girl. she would have just postponed her morning if she. Jace would have been watching him, yeah. watching him. That he, no, Jace would have been the one that was babysitting. Jace. Yeah, yeah. I meant to say Nash yeah. would have been the one babysitting Jace. At that, the end, um, that's what I said. Nash, yeah. watch him and he said, me. "Come on down." It's <laughs> like, "Come on, sit over here by me." <laughs> <laughs> the part that I love was when she had the check old girl. Right, first of all. Stacey. To be that, to be that jealous, yes, that helped. To oh, be boy. that jealous, to be that jealous, y'all. I, I, and it wasn't even much your money. That man bought your out that house with his money. How you gonna I'm get mad. mad at how somebody else mad? spends their money? That right there, I was just like, oh, that and that then it's been cut the off. fact, the fact that Jamal picked up on it. 
Like he knew he wasn't gonna like her from the day, you know, Mm -hmm. from the day they met. Mm -hmm. And um, like you said, both of them made sacrifices. It's like she lost a friend, he lost a friend, but they gained (laughs) each other. So it was yeah, that that full circle. And then when they went, they took that um, they went to Disney, and they even took um, her with her brother kids. Uh huh. Yeah. That listen, I love that because we, you know, we in Florida, we drive up to Orlando all the time for our little family trips. So, I, like, I'm imagining the Airbnb. I'm like really there because I've done this so much. But that was that that part right there where everybody got to know each other. Even the kids got together, had fun, so they didn't make it make Nashville comfortable dealing with a lot of adults. They brought kids his age to enjoy it. Then the fact mm-hmm. that I said what the brother in law he paid for every, all their tickets that was that listen I need that type of energy in my life too. That but part I, I love that part. You know, man, when he that explained part. to his parents like how much he loved her, like this is why I love her. He gave details like she's there, she's this, she that. Oh yeah, that I, made my heart. Like, I love that part. When a boy showed up at the house. I was like, oh shit, about to break loose right That's now. True. I just, I Ooh, literally was true. like, oh was shit. Because Jamal just asked her if, you know, y'all communicate. Had, mm-hmm. Oh, I thought Kevin Ponkas was going to throw that, in, you know, in his face <laughs> or whatever too. and be like, Me too. well, look, here's the pictures right here. She was going, <laughs> you know, he was going in the house. So your girl playing you, discrediting her. Child. So what, what happened to Kevin? Did Desmond or Jamal take care of him? Uncle Slim, I'm, 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 I'm gonna give you. I'm giving you. Ain't nobody get their hands dirty. You heard me? Oh, did that shit? I'm gonna right. I'm gonna give you he was just out, he was a out small that bad. spoiler, but that's gonna be in the next one. Uncle Slim is going to take care of it. You're going to see Kevin. So we and get Camille to see Uncle Slim again. You're gonna see them oh, again. Who Uncle Slim is like. Tell us who, what what kind of what character we know in this, these literary streets. Would you say Uncle is like? Is he like a pimp or is he like um like, uh, Uncle Slim is so <laughs> Uncle Juggy? <laughs> Who said that? Mine. <laughs> that was terrible. <laughs> Uncle Slim is, I have this vision of Uncle Slim like he is so far under the radar. Like you don't even know. You know, it just came to me. Have y'all seen that real? When they say, yo, um, boss man, add me, add me. Nah, I can't add you. I'm I'm damn near a thug in these streets. That's <laughs> Uncle Slim. Like, you don't, you you see him, you know he ain't, you know, you know, okay. something ain't right about him, but you can't really pinpoint what Not it Uncle is. Uncle Slim having a fan club. <laughs> <laughs> But he contributed so much to who Mm -hmm. Jamal really was. You know what I'm saying? First off, he he even made it known even after Jamal started making his money because he knew his mom was going to probably have a shit fit. But he handled his business and he gracefully bowed out when it was time for him to move on to begin better things. Mm -hmm. But Kevin Ace was Jason been called it. Jay said that nigga's a hater. He a real hater. I, you know, I can't even tell you. I don't know a uh, Kevin like that, but just something about it. <laughs> just something about him was like, just from when I did, when they started talking about having this pool party, and he was like, "Oh yeah, my homeboy," and you know, he was feeling Camille at the peak at the park and all of that, mm-hmm. and um, oh, Camille. And Camille was like, now you asking too many questions. Mm-hmm. But you have to remember, you have to remember, um, and I this is where I say I feel like I could have developed it a little bit more, dealt a little bit more into Deja's background with um, Desmond. But you have to remember that Kevin was investigating Desmond way before he knew about Deja. And he knew he was trying to get something on him. But Desmond being who he is, almost like Uncle Slim, yeah, I do my dirt under the table, but I got a really, I got legitimate yeah. businesses mm-hmm. 
So you're never going to find him. My dad is not to mention his dad. I was about oh, to say, and his oh. dad got paid for him political ties. First of so all, it ain't even your case. Your right. thing is you jumping on a bandwagon trying to use people, and, and nah, that ain't well, right. I, that ain't even. I right. almost feel like with Kevin, he kind of had. It's like a case, and I have a friend that's a police officer that kind of helped me with some stuff. A little, you know. He's like, sometimes you'll have a case and it's like a cold case and you just got to put it to the side because you got other stuff that you got to deal with. And you might mm -hmm. come across something that triggers it. So him being at seeing the house was like, I was investigating somebody in yeah. this neighborhood, in but I could never get nothing on him. And so but, that's how he, you know, you know, but I don't think read books before where some people are just so obsessed with somebody. It's like, mm -hmm. dude, let's just go. You know, yeah, like this could be, the, and that's the thing. You can make it break his career. Like that was a make his career. But I don't think you needed to expand. That, that's just me. I read between the lines. I think okay. a lot of a lot of us did. It's like I don't think you really needed to go into, you know, too much detail about that because what you just explained is exactly what right. The I assumption imagine. was like, yeah, yeah. that's okay. yeah. You did a good job with that. Like, I, I I can't really um think of much. You know that you really needed to spend, it, especially when I found out you're gonna do do Jason. You're gonna do like I. I don't know. I just feel like whatever we don't know will get uncovered in that. But I do. That's another thing I want to talk about. I do not like how you made it where it could be a standalone. And if people ask you or are more excited about the characters, I can do spinoffs. So that was another thing. I like that you closed that book. So where we got our answers there. And then, you know, as if we want more, will you bring out the, you know, the basically the book about the the sister and then the brother we have that to it just ex expound on what we knew from book one mm -hmm. of, you know to find out more about mm -hmm. the, you know the present what's going on after this book so I and you know like what that. my piggybacking on what you said there was a part where i was under the impression the way the words were used as if maybe Jerrica had somebody else or she was meeting somebody else. Did y'all get that? Where it felt like she made, because remember when he was, they were talking about something about love. I know I ain't imagine this. I oh, know. When she was in Florida. I know. Huh? You, mean you thought she, she was, was in Florida? In Florida? Yeah. Is that what you're talking yeah. about? Not necessarily in Florida, but that she had a boot that she was actually oh. coming around. I when think they, I don't know who it was, but somebody said even falling in love again or something like when that. When they went to mm -hmm. when her and Jay, when her and Jamal went to did, uh, lunch, I think. Yeah, and he had that discussion. He mentions it and she blushes. Yes, exactly. See, I know I wasn't imagining that. I know, I know. I had a y'all. Jab and bread comes. <laughs> yes, but it, they, those are perfect turning points. Yeah. So y'all know we like... when we get in a book, we literally live in it. Maisha mm -hmm. reads it a couple of times, but <laughs> literally, I just well, I kind of I kind of hang on. I don't read it all in one day for the most part. I used to. Mm -hmm. Now that I'm getting a little older, I need a little more time on words. Just letting y'all know don't, don't, don't judge me. Don't judge me. <laughs> I like but, yeah, I like I like your personality you. that shine through in this book. Like I'm not gonna lie, like I didn't realize you were so damn funny. That was like I literally <laughs> was I'm at work like busting out laughing, like and people looking at me like that like I like you made it a love story, but it had the 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 parts in it where you was like, Lord. <laughs> really like this is what we doing yeah but i i did i that's and i i know you were nervous i didn't really think you should be nervous but i know how that is it's just this is your baby your first baby a day you gotta you know see how i go i wasn't i don't know i expected what i got to be honest i expected you to follow through on the book and i expected it to you know to have the trials and tribulations, but I felt I, I knew you would have them work through it because, you know, he started dating. He just started dating Deja and now I have to bring my nephew into the equation. Like these are mm -hmm. real decisions that adults make. I like that you kept mm -hmm. it so relatable with, with, with the storyline. So what does Camille have against the sneezers that scream? Girl! 
<laughs> that right there was so funny. <laughs> Who's that? Who is that? That's me, me. Oh. That's me, me. <laughs> Listen, that y'all, that is really me. Don't let my allergies act a fool. The dog well, used to be like, the dog a, used to be like, associate. if you don't have, cover your mouth. I have an associate, and Mimi figured out who it was, but I can't, and we're not going to say who it is. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Mimi did. Mimi was like, and Mimi's so smooth with it, Joss. So is so-and-so-and-so. -and -so -and -so. So and so, the like, sneeze. <laughs> no, see, she she asked me if somebody was um, Stacy. She said, "Is so and so Stacy?" And I was like, "Just low key elements, not Can not I just low key elements." You. <laughs> but the low key elements is when they said Stacy has a list of stuff that's just unrealistic. For mm -hmm. a, a mate, you can have a list, but let it just be realistic. And then, are you where? Are you at the point where you have the right to have these unrealistic, you know, expectations? We could all want what we want. There's nothing wrong with that. But yeah, um, there's a no. Uh, yeah, the screen sneezes a lot. <laughs> it is, and that that that, that was the part that had me hollering. <laughs> Readers, um, <laughs> cut them off. Readers, wait, uh, I you that I laughed. I tell you something, I laughed up with mine. My, my was in my inbox, was like, not the buy here, pay here. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> when I say she had me rolling, fan, I was. <laughs> In Georgia, oh, I don't know if they're God. everywhere else, and maybe I never they paid them in attention. Miami. They are but in that's Georgia, why I there are buy God, here, pay here on though. every corner. Maybe that's the east yes, side. It's like the um the rent the um used car places. Yeah, oh, no yeah. credit, bad credit, no job. Yeah. Buy here, pay here. <laughs> like that's oh. literally what it's mm -hmm. selling the building. <laughs> Yes, fancy. <laughs> yeah, they heard too in Texas. <laughs> oh yeah, so I just. I, I had a scene there. where they had got into it, and I was like, "It don't feel right. It just don't feel right." And I'm not. Gonna, I had a lot of encouragement. Bailey was like, "Then don't force it. Just leave it there, and then come back to it." And that's exactly what I did with their argument. Because at first, I was like, "This argument is corny. It is so corny." And then, as I was going back through doing some of my edits, things started coming to me, and I you know went in with with the um with the argument listen the i thought it was a legitimate issue to have because first of all if a dude say to me that come ain't bad yeah i, I that question was valid <laughs> oh that how, part. You know, how you know how the fuck <laughs> do you know <laughs> how long did he not speak to her though was it like a week josh that he just he didn't talk yeah, to him. Like, yeah, Man. like he was, it was, it pissed like him it. off. It pissed him off. Listen, and if you, if he'd have gave me the quiet storm, you know, the little corner over there, mm -hmm. I just started reading into that shit. So there's some truth to this for you to be this man. <laughs> but you me, know, men don't like to be, their yeah. manhood to be tested. Well, don't say stupid shit like you know. Well, that's what Jay told me was a stupid argument in the restaurant yeah. on top of that. Yeah. yeah, and he already said she popped off at the mouth too quick. So she that's did, it. but I love that about her. I was like, "Girl, mm -hmm. speak your mind." As you and that, and she in Atlanta, so that's a legitimate question to be asking a nigga. Okay, Deja, <laughs> does, Deja does. She she has to keep deep her thoughts when she's counseling uh, families and stuff. When you hear all kind of crazy stuff, and you might want to so be like, "What?" You know. She has so to hold it. That yeah. in. So then when she gets around her people, she just let it rip. She just let her mouth mm -hmm. just she has to. I ain't no. mad at her. That that was warranted because at the end of the day, nigga, how you know? Yeah, I have y'all haven't added what do y'all think about Grams? Grams is crazy to me. I, I thought like she her. was pretty wise. I love she, 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 crazy. She's I mean, real. She, her and Jason. Yeah. 
She, yeah, them two together a uh, mess. But I, I love the energy she had because keep in mind that she had not so long ago lost her husband. And so when she, when she offered for Jerrica to come and stay with her, mm-hmm. I thought that was just so organic and genuine because it's like, who better to mourn with when, than somebody that can actually relate to what right. you're going through? And they had many more lives you know, <laughs> lifetimes together than her and her husband did. They were mm-hmm. they were considered practically newlyweds compared to her grandparents. Mm-hmm. But um, and I love how the family came together. You know, and his him realizing his days were coming. You know, his days were, and he basically was transitioning everybody, and he ended up having an unexpected second death. But mm-hmm. the closeness of the family, and that's why Annette disappointed me so much, because it was like. So you a fraud. You you fake it in front of people, and you you have everybody thinking this, even in front of your own children. For you to mistreat Jerrica like that, and then for her to bring Nash that, I was so glad when Jamal checked. I was like, no. First of all, <laughs> he's in my care. Remember, you 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 raised your children. Remember, he had to keep reminding her. Mm-hmm. She was out of pocket though, and that was. Antoinette. She had me mad with her. Antoinette. Well, you know I'm gonna name people. Yeah, yeah, you know. <laughs> yeah. Annette, Antoinette. You know how many books I didn't read this week? Shit. I got you, sis. That's what I'm talking about. Leg right here. She's been using the check me about three or four times. I just blamed her on another check because I was naming um I was mispronounced, misspelling and mispronouncing uh Chelsea's character. Oh, New Orleans. I know that's right. Monique, me too. Grand I, I love cool. she had this 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 vibe about her. Like so, you know, and I this is another this is something else that is true. Um, but I was much younger. My grandmother, my grandparents, when we lived in Los Angeles, had come and my grandmother, I don't think she was in her 70s though, at that point. They might have been in their um late 50s, maybe 60s. And my grandfather did, I mean, he was a daredevil. And they got on, um, we went to Disneyland in Los Angeles, and they got on um, Space Mountain. So if anybody ever been on Space Mountain, that's a roller coaster. Mm -hmm. And my grandfather and my grandmother, and I was like, we called her mom. Mom, you are not getting on this ride. Yes, I am. If Pop is getting on it, I'm going to get on it. And my grandparents got on the ride. We didn't have a whole debate like like Jason um, Graham's did, but it was like, yeah, old people can still, older people can still, if they healthy and sure did. That's what we call them now, older. Older. <laughs> seasoned. Seasoned. <laughs> and, um, seasoned saints, as we want to call them. Yeah. Well, so, if they're... Now- Huh. Yeah, What's and next? that's what I was getting ready to Erica? say. Are there any questions? And before you answer that, does anybody, if you have any questions, um, please drop them in the comments because we want to make sure we give Josh the love that she deserves. We definitely want to encourage her some more. We want to know what it was we actually got from this book. So are there are questions that you want to have answered. Remember, she has another interview on July 30th with Miss Chelsea, Chelsea Maria. Yeah, Isn't Chelsea. that something an author's going to be getting an author? I, I'm going to love that. She, yeah, she was like, well, okay, so let me just tell you the people who were, I mentioned them at the back of the book. I gave Monica, Monica said I only gave her 20 pages. I don't believe that. I gave. I believe I gave Monica <laughs> more than 20 pages. Oh, so nobody had the full book. They just had pieces of it. Uh huh. And so I think I gave Chelsea not quite a hundred, it might have been 80 something. And she was like, Okay, I want to know what else you just left me hanging. You got to finish. You just left me hanging. I know you're concerned about this, this, and this, but you got a good flow. Keep going. So, Monica and Jesse truly were, um, um, inspiring, you know, encouraging me. I mentioned it to Sheree, and she would pop in my inbox every now and then and be like, hmm, what you doing? What's going on? Where we at? It was, she hadn't read, Sheree hadn't read anything. But um, so 
I just find it interesting that Chelsea was like, she really liked it and wanted, now she want to interview me. And she was like, I want to interview. I'm like, okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> that ought to be good. Yeah. I was looking um, to see. Somebody mentioned something about, um, I was just going back through the comments. Jay scooping it, Camille, um, and they trying to keep it on the, oh, Nash. Out at Jay. Uh -huh. and Camille. Yeah. Camille. Yes, he did. That, that was, was another. Funny. That, that was funny. Because he grown. Funny. He too grown. He is too he grown. Was. He Sometimes is. Sometimes he's got a. Especially for 10 years. Oh, y'all. Yeah. Then he's talking about this. That, that little dude had me weak. He had me weak so many moments. I was like, Nash is the sweetest thing. I love how he even recognized his mom's, uh, you know, grieving when he said, I think it's happening again. You know, he was in tune to what was going on with her and able to basically say to his uncle and him, look, it's happening. You know, she doing this again. Mm -hmm. So, and then when he But shared he was understanding too. Yeah, and when he shared with Grams, you know, when, when she was like, y'all need to end this foolishness and forgive your mama, whatever she was telling them. And um, he was like, I love her, but she been she ain't doing my mama right. She 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 treated my mama a certain kind of way. And boys are really in tune to, I mean, girls are too. There's something about that boy, that mother-son yeah. relationship. <laughs> boys are so in tune to what's going on. Mm -hmm. And now mine is not uh, smart alecky like that, but he ain't gonna let nobody mess with me. He ain't gonna let nobody know. mess with his grandma. <laughs> <laughs> and and, and as knows. as it should be, you know, right. those boys are should be very protective of their yeah. mothers. And their mm -hmm. So Tara just, asked, "What was next?" next um, yes, I want to know that as well. I'm working on it, um, and to be honest. They both talking. So I don't know if it's going to be Jerica's story and Jace all together. I don't know if I can pull off. And I, I shared this with uh, Mimi and Terry and then when we were on Sounds our like um, series. road trip. Um, like series. <laughs> mm -hmm. I don't know if I could pull off. You know how some people can write four different characters telling four different stories. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so I don't know if I could do that, if I'm at that stage yet. But and nor do you have to, because it gives us something else to look forward to. Yeah, but the, they're both talking. So when uh, Jace's stuff comes to me for him, I go ahead and put it in, in my notes. Even if I go, you know, if his will be a second, um, Story. So it'll either be one more coming out on the whole family or two more. Jericho's mm -hmm. story or um, Jason's story. If I could pull off one, maybe, mm -hmm. but I'm thinking it's going to be two, two, definitely two more. And I'm, Jerica is really running her mouth right now. So um, I'm believing she'll be next. So have you named? When? Don't ask me when. I can't tell you when because I went back oh. to work today. Oh, and okay. can I, can I? Can I ask, will will we get the Bachelor Jace or will we, I mean, yeah, will we get the Bachelor Jace or will we get the, I'm ready to settle down, Jace? I don't know what the hell Jace is doing. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he kind of all over the place. They said all I wouldn't life, expect, I listen, <laughs> I wouldn't expect anything less for him to be all over the place. Go yeah, Jace. he's kind of all over the place. He, he. You know, you gotta remember he's younger than her. Yeah, not by a lot, by a couple of years. He's a couple of years younger than Got her. Got him a cool guy. Got oh, him a really? cool guy. Uh, she yep. hates. Me. I'm gonna tell you this: stay, uh, Camille hates. Don't call her no cougar. <laughs> don't call her no sugar mama. That is going to be. I'll tell you this: that is going to be a contention uh, with him when he calls her his sugar mama. He, she can't stand, stand it. Huh? She can't yes, stand indeed. it. And she tells him all the time, because you know, Camille a little sassy too. She tells him all the time, listen to me like these people sitting in my couch on my couch. Nigga, I'm not no sugar. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 
I'll give y'all that little piece. She has told him, nigga, don't call me that again. So I don't think I can do deal with no young dude, but hey, you know, that's just me. That's just me. What you say, y'all is me. silver back. You gotta have a little silver back. <laughs> Girl, I, you know me, like Bay. Bay got a whole bunch of you know, girl. Y'all seen Bay? Y'all seen Bay? We don't play. We don't play. We gonna keep them. We gonna keep a little silver in there. I need a few little salt and pepper spots up in there. Mm -mm, I need some wisdom. I need somebody that can hold real conversations with me. So, Josh, again, we want to say to you, congratulations. We truly enjoyed your first release. And we are looking forward to supporting you going forward. Um, does anybody have anything they want to add, My? No, I just, again, like I said, um, it was, you know, I think she she did what I expected. I'm not going to say I held her to higher expectations because um, I knew the pressure with, you know, her being throwing events and then writing. People would have mm -hmm. put that pressure on her. So I was... You know, I went into it like, okay, this is her first book, you know, not as the the indie love, but as Jocelyn. So I went yeah. into it as this is Jocelyn writing, but I, I wasn't disappointed. I, I really liked it. And again, the comedy was, was I loved it. I love that, 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 especially again, when you talked about Nash and I guess because you're a school teacher, you were able to channel, you know, the kid, cause I didn't feel like, I was reading about an adult acting as a kid. I really felt I was reading about a kid that has life experiences. And I, that's what I enjoyed about his character. It was like uh, she doing, she trying too hard to be a kid when she writes. But I really felt like I was reading, every time he talked, it was the story through a kid's eyes. So I did, it was another thing that you did a really good job on keeping his age, at his age, but at his also age, giving yes. him the wisdom the wisdom that he needed to deal with his mom to know when something yeah. wasn't right and with that to, reality you know, kind of yeah. kind of his uncles when something wasn't right so exactly I like thank you. i, I appreciate, appreciate it and my thank you for joining us and tara no do you have any questions for us this evening for joss um so you're doing a series now it sounds like do you have a name for the series no mm -hmm. No, and, sound and why does everybody's name start with a J? Is that a Joss fan or what was the dad's name? What because all the siblings mama mama name was A. Well, the but yeah, all the boys were J. <laughs> but all the kids were J, all the siblings were J. Is that did a J I give Daddy daughter? name? We never said his I never said his name, did I? I don't think so because I was trying to find it. I was like, maybe he started with a J, and then I was like, no, maybe it's Joss. <laughs> No, my my um you've maybe known people Jamal do that Senior. before. Maybe he Jamal Senior. <laughs> he might be. No, because I didn't make Jamal Junior. I don't I don't think I gave a daddy a name. I cause he wasn't, you know relevant. <laughs> yeah, I mean he was relevant. He didn't have no backbone. I'm sorry. He really didn't. <laughs> yeah, and that, that was what it was. That was another thing. I That's like what how. it was. Yeah. The dad just like really how how even though the dad didn't stand up to his wife, even when he felt she was wrong, the kids didn't take on that trait of his. They all had their individual personalities and they felt when you're wrong, you're wrong. So that was another good thing. They didn't take on his personalities, which was good. You know, I couldn't imagine somebody just standing there, you know, letting things happen like how he did. So right. Was, you just so oblivious, oblivious yeah, to your, your wife. You to but, we're going to Florida, but you ain't saying yeah. we're going to Destin, but you wait. Yeah. Oh, wait. And I, going and, fishing. And you, did, you know what? My God, dad, like everybody I know, the older men in our family, they did that. The wife did. She was. All, they would back her up, even if she was wrong. Was wrong. Right. They don't don't yell at her. Don't don't talk to you her. Any kind because of you don't let your kid back yes. then. You didn't let your kids see you being, mm -hmm. you know, that they could play the two of you. That didn't happen. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna say yes. my generation or under, you know, and I'm 53. Yeah. You could, you know, well, I'm gonna go talk to my mom and I'm I'm gonna talk to my dad, mm -hmm. ask him, you know, back then, and they're just a little bit, you know, so I don't know. I have to give him a name, Tara. I'll make up one. But <laughs> I'm thinking, um no, I just know I know some people that you know stick with the same, give the kids all the same. When mm -hmm. I had mine, even though I didn't, I only had the one. Um, 
all of his dad's boys' names start with a D. So I just stuck with it and gave him a D name. Um, mm -hmm. So yeah, there was no real method to that to that madness except for I just thought, I just thought it was you know cute, you know. So <laughs> and did you have I an also... idea to the series name? I'm sorry. The name did not come, so I'm a, that I, you notice in the back, I gave Bailey a whole lot of love. We flushed the name out too. The book was done. And I, said, I don't have a name. I don't have a name. I don't have a title. And um, she kept saying, "What's the title?" And then she kept saying, "Your book cover." And so finally, I said, "I turned the pictures into CC Jack." Yes, oh, she might get mad at me for telling, but. <laughs> I'm gonna be like she telling all y'all business. <laughs> well, I, I I I don't. I, CCJ did the book cover. That's just all I'm gonna say. When I looked at it, I said, you know, and all I did was give her the pictures, and I told her the title, and she, that's what she did. That's what she rocked with. So I gave her four pictures, and she, and I mean, let me just tell you this. So she sent it back to me. She had it for maybe two, three weeks, maybe, because I wasn't in a rush. And um, I was doing water aerobics all summer. So I get out the pool and I'm getting in the car. And I always get in the car and I look at my phone, I'm looking at my phone. And I see the email from her. And I literally opened it and I started screaming <laughs> in the parking lot of the aquatic center. And I'm like, oh my God, I love it. I love it. I love this. Oh my God. Oh my God. And she just, all she said was, what do you think? And if I would have said, I don't like it, she would have went back to the drawing board. But, and if she had shown me maybe three or four, I might've picked a different one, but mm -mm, that was it. And I immediately sent it to Kelly and he was like, damn. <laughs> <laughs> like baby girl got uh, skills, huh? Yeah. Yeah. But Jazz, again, um, we want to thank you. Shout out to my girl Allegra. She couldn't make it this evening. But baby, you were missed. We love yeah, you. Yeah, So when she does get to watch, she'll know she was thought of. She I remember last time she couldn't make it because she was on the vacation. She was like, Y'all better give me a shout out. That's my girl. Absolutely. So I Till thank y'all for time. I just want to thank everybody. It's doing very, very well. Um, the ratings are, it looks good. Um, and I'm happy. I'm pleased with that. My nerves have, because I'm just like, oh my God. So it's doing well. It's a lot of pressure now. It's the pressure is now to the next one's got to be, you know. Be better than this yeah, one. Yeah. You, know, you always, well, and on. that's the thing. You want to be better than yourself. You're not even in competition with anybody else. So you always want to give more mm -hmm. the next time. Mm -hmm. I want to thank the readers for hanging in there with us. We had a full house tonight and we really did miss you guys. So we are back and um, it is our goal to be back once a month, every month. This episode um, of Beans and Bourbon will be on our YouTube station. Uh, so thank you guys for joining thank us. You. you guys hang on for a minute. Y'all have a good evening. Thank you.